Hey everybody. Alright, if you saw my last video, you saw that I played all the woodwind instruments wearing a face shield. Well, I realized that that's great for breaking the directional airstream of the flute, but it doesn't do much to help with the aerosols that come out of the tone holes um, on the woodwind instruments, which we saw um, basically described in that, uh, in the preliminary uh, findings of the Colorado uh, aerosol study. So I've come up with a potential solution to that and I'd love to get your feedback. I took my face shield and made a mask that fits over <laughs> your body while you play and I'm gonna try this out for the first time. So we'll see if it works. And, and if it does, I'll show you how I made it. So let's start with the flute first. So we're gonna slip it under here. Okay. So the, the mask is covering the entire instrument. Here we are. Okay. just fine and I'm not really getting any fog or anything like that going on in here so that's a good sign that's really good all right obviously it's not airtight I can come out around it if I need to all right let's try clarinet and again wanting to cover the instrument with this to act like uh, the, the same way that a face mask just kind of blocks the the water droplet. All right, this works just fine. No problems here at all. Okay, next, let's go with alpha sax. I'll need to take this off. I didn't put my neck strap on in advance, so. Make sure your students put their neck straps on. key is making sure you don't break your reed when you put it, <laughs> when you go to put this on. All right. Oh, this is much better with the mask on. So, I know you can't really see this very well, but if you remember from the last video, um, the mask was hitting the octave key. Now, the mask, this, um, or the shield was hitting the key. Now this cloth just covers right over that. Thank you. 
All right, that works just fine. No issues again. So um, this works good. And I think that this will block some of those aerosols. Um, issues with being careful that you don't break your reed. Um, they should just keep the instrument under here the whole class until they're they're done um, playing, just like they would keep a face mask uh, on, hopefully, <laughs> through all their classes. Now, um, two things. I want to show you kind of how I did this. It's really easy. I made one of those face shields, um, and I'll put a link in the um, below here of how to make a face shield, but it's really easy. And then I just took and just traced around the face shield on, like, a standard bed sheet. This isn't even, like, the size of, this is, like, the size of a, of like a toddler bed sheet right now because I've been using this to cut face masks out of and stuff. But I just basically traced out um, the mask and I actually went all the way around it. You should actually um, go uh, just inside, like, like place this down on the sheet and then trace um, inside of it so that you're, you need to have the fabric covering the edge of this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, um, but I didn't do that. So, uh, I actually had to adjust this a little bit by just, um, I put Velcro on the outside of this and put Velcro on this and I just put the bottom on and then, so the top just went a little bit above it, um, when I did it, but it's pretty easy with the Velcro. This was one package of Velcro and I'll put the the specifications down below as well. So the only thing is you're not going to be able to see the kids fingers when they're playing. Um, and the solution I had to that was I got a clear vinyl tablecloth and a clear vinyl shower curtain. And I was going to make one of those out of this. Um, but then I realized that it's not going to be a filter like this is. It would actually just hold everything in. So that probably would fog up. And um, then when they finally took them off, all of the, it would probably be, you know, aerosolized in the air. Um, and maybe it would condensate and drip. I, I don't know. I don't know. So um, I think we might just have to sacrifice and be like, yeah, okay, we can't see their fingers, you know and ask them, how are you fingering that? And, be, you know, model and show them how to finger things. Um, I can't fix, I mean, we're not going to be able to fix every problem, you know, and make it like as if everything's normal again. But I'd love to know what you think about this. And um, if I'm sure somebody else out, out there has an even better idea. But I think it's a good start. Thanks for watching.